Hey guys, Easter Igor is here. Uh, this battle, I want to show a battle. Sand River, and this is Encounter on Churchill 7. I'm on top. Uh, I just, by now, I already sold Churchill 7. I have Black Prince, uh, but I have nothing but positive memories about Churchill 7. Grinding this tank was nice, easy, and pleasurable. It was incredibly good when it was on top and it was very decent when it was at the bottom. So, uh, let's talk about a little bit how to play this map. A. Never go to the camp. Uh, unless entire team goes. There is one scenario where you can win a counter if all 15 tanks go to the camp and nothing will stop or reset them. However, this is a public battle. Don't go to the camp. Actually, this location here, where our tanks sit on this side of the dune and enemy side sit on the other side, this location here up north, uh, deciding the destiny of this battle. Uh, it is very, very important to have a good scout who will run around on top of the dune and show any movements. Unfortunately, we do not have a good scout, we do not have a scout who knows what to do. Again, it's very often common occurrence in uh, public battles. Now, I have a bit of dil dilemma here. I have T-150, a uh, tank that is almost as well armored as uh, my tank. So, uh, we, we can deliver a lot of damage to each other. And uh, my, my only advantage is I have a better gun. In, in a sense, I, it's better aiming gun, better sniping gun. Um, the problem I have here on with my tank is I have horrible, horrible gun depression, which is makes uh, it's uncomfortable to play on this particular map in dunes. Uh, but you know, guys, if Churchill 7 had good gun depression, it would be absolute monster. They had to balance game somehow, so they gave this tank terrible gun depression. Um, and now I have like tanks, three tanks looking from three different directions, and it's start eliminating them one by one. One thing about like Churchill, so it shoots every three seconds or four seconds. Going and back and forth and uh, playing peekaboo doesn't make Our sense on Churchill hit. 7 Infantry or Churchill 1 enemy. or Churchill Black Prince. Enemy just use your destroyed. armor, you get out and, and you place a shell every 3 seconds into enemy. Um, the now, is here's down. the problem, T-34. He has, T-34 has very fast for shooting gun. He had no business penetrating me at this angle. I have 152 millimeters in front, I have 95 or 90 I think uh, on the sides and uh, T-34 gun has 112 millimeters penetration but then guys look at his uh, cover and like Sviam he's green he's a good player he is shooting premium armor I have no problems with him shooting premium armor because this is um, also one of the components that make good player, skilled player, good. They know when they shoot normal armor ammunition, they know when to shoot premium, because he had no chance to penetrate me with the regular shells. He switched to premium and good for him. He delivered a lot of damage to me in this particular moment. Now continue. I learned my lesson. I need to retreat. T-34 is a major pain. Enemy is hit. And I need to be careful around him. We've cleared the viewports. Keep your eyes open. Looks like that one went right through. The rangefinder took a hit. We can only shoot close now target. Now look at minimap. We also get him flanked. Always look at minimap what's going on. And life doesn't look good right now, right? 
um, enemies capping the base, score is 5 5. But guess what? We have more tanks up north here and see how slow capping goes. But we still have a good chance to clear the north. And then deal with the cappers. Alright. Here, here are our flankers. M4 and T1 hit. And neither of the tank can deliver much damage to me if I angle myself properly. Enemy armor is T1 hit. cannot penetrate me. He's gone. Find another target. M4 is shooting. Enemy is hit. I expose us, so he did some damage. Penetration. We've lost a track. Got him. He's dead. Now, now it's time for me to turn around We've fixed the track. and Let's deal roll. with cappers. Our KV-1, I want to com uh, comment our KV-1. He did pretty good job. He has three kills. He killed T-150 and he is about to kill that T-34. I wish I could kill him myself, to be honest. Lost so much of my health because of him. We've torched them. They're hit. Punched right through their armor. He's gone. Find another target. And uh, now it's time to go and reset the base. Speed it up a little. And yeah. Missed. Here Enemy is the reset. Hit. Alright, out of all three battles I'll show you today, this is the only post-game report I saved. I got Steel Wall and uh, Defender and um, quite a lot of damage to 2600 I believe, right? And uh, now up to the next battle. Hey guys, History Gores here again, and this is the battle on Churchill in um, Erlenberg. And uh, what we're going to do here, we are going to use an interesting tactic. It's a standard battle. I'm on top, and um, looking at enemy setup, I see that they don't have experienced players. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be very aggressive and I'll use the technique or strategy of a red house. There's a red house near our base. I'll stand next to it and I'll use my armor to annoy the heck out of enemy. There aren't that many enemy tanks that can easily penetrate me or just um, seeing their XVM statistics I would speculate there aren't that many enemy players that would know how to penetrate Churchill 7. So my technique may just work. And 
if you don't use XPM, do. It's helpful. It's helpful to assess a battle situation and make a right appropriate decision. So this is the right house. Uh, the um, why this position is good? Well, that's why. See, because you can shoot enemy. all enemy that would try to attack on line J and K and you can use this house to cover yourself from being shunned from the other side of the river or hide from artillery here save yourself from artillery here if the map has artillery so I'm trying to figure out right now I'm trying to figure out where the enemy is Looks like um, our team started aggressively attacking on the line J and K and I need to help them actually there make sure they don't die too early and from here again that's how we can help your team you have to be careful here there's a Su-100 and a Hetzer. I'm lining myself up. Su-100 is dead. Hetzer is dead. And that side is clear. The score is 6-5. Now I see VK, 3000 on H. VK doesn't have much armor. 3000 on H doesn't. So I can easily pen him. KV1 won't penetrate me on its every shot. I'm not sure which gun it has actually. Now, this, this came kind of like a surprise. Um, but I was going to play aggressively and I was kind of ready. In this game I mostly rely on my armor. I cannot allow enemy to always shoot my back. So this uh, KV-1S has derp gun in his stock. So I'm not afraid of him either. Now I'm hiding behind his house. And I'm using my fast shooting gun. See, he bounced. And I shoot every three second. He gets hit, so I'm getting shot from the back. But I need to ki kill KV1S first. So there's a VK, that VK behind me now. Now he will be getting shot every every three seconds. Still, I have plenty of health points left. And there's an M4. I'm trying to hate my side, my uh, my bag, behind the pile of uh, garbage here. So M4 can only shoot the front of my turret and it's 152 millimeters. Now I need to kill him. There. By now I did lose quite a lot of health, however I already have 2400 plus in damage and destroyed 4 enemy tanks. And Churchill is dead. So as you see, Churchill 7 is really extremely powerful tank when it's on top of the battle when it's not on top of the battle when it's in the middle of the at the at the bottom i use it mostly as a sniper shooting from the far far away but when it's on top it can go just in the middle of the battle and brawl with pretty much everyone and win game will be over in the next video of Churchill 7 uh, is going to be right after this. Hope you enjoyed this one.
And the last battle on Churchill 7, I'm on top again, Westfield. And we start um, in the not, what is it, south, southwest, right? So let's talk about this map. I already mentioned and tried to explain you guys when um, I posted my YouTube video on T25 AT tank destroyer. Now I'm actually starting on the other side uh, as um, compared to the, that battle. So it's all about the hill and the village. Let's go! Valley down below and line K and line 0 absolutely useless. Medium tanks like to go there and they camping and sit the entire game in the bushes doing absolutely nothing. That's so wrong guys. Even if you medium tank you start down below, come up the hill, come to the village to help. The only reason, really reason, uh, or it's a good idea to camp on line K and Zero if you have 5-6 artilleries and you have scouts and you want to protect them somehow. Uh, in a battle like this, with one artillery, just go hill. Team that wins the hill wins the wins the game. Whereas even somebody goes down below, tries to cap the base, can always return and reset it from above. It's real easy. Uh, while I was talking here, our silly T40 decided to die. Again, I'm going to use my armor here. Um, not to do that like the main attacks right here. Through. shot by Churchill we three. Him back. He can damage me much, but he can take peace me all the time, so I'm retreating. I need to angle better. Again, it doesn't make sense on Churchill like 7. Churchill 7 to go back and forth and uh, play peekaboo uh, with its fast shooting tank. Just get out and before KV-1S can reload you'll be able to have time to shoot shoot four or five times well not that many times but you saw it Enemy is hit. Uh, now it's time to kill church on three angle he won't be able to pin it unless he shoots gold so he's dead and it looks like we uh, swept the village right so uh, Here's I'm making a mistake. I figured, okay, um, the artillery is dead, and the artillery is the only uh, what I was afraid here. Uh, artillery is dead, and I can go forward. I don't know what I was thinking. Nice shot. Maybe I was drinking that day. So Looks I'm like getting shot. Right yet I decided to kill a Hellcat. Now, no, like look at this M6. Right <laughs> he is a really hit. bad player. I mean, he's a very bad player. He shows his sides to me. And um, That's and gotta I, hurt. I, I'm getting s shot right now by Easy 8. But again, I'm already in vulnerable position. Moving around doesn't make sense. Uh, and I was kind of hoping that my two heavy tanks in the village would help me and deal with easy aid. However, they were waiting for me to kill M6 and then start fighting easy well. aid before they would do anything. Looks like that went right it just through. tells you that, uh, especially on like low tier battles we like this, you bad. really cannot rely on your teammates. It's nice when they help. However, you can only rely on yourself. Alright. But it, this battle shows you yet again how uh, powerful Churchill 7 is when it's uh, when it is top tier tank. 2700 damage and uh, few tanks could do. You guys seen how many shots were bouncing on me. It's it's a, it's an incredibly good tank. It's easy to play. Again, its only problem is uh, bad gun depression, and that's why at the beginning of the game I went to the village. I did not go to the hills. 
uh, it will be much more difficult for me to do anything like um, in C2, C3, in those hills up there. So if you're in the west field, you have good gun depression, you can go here, you have bad gun depression, go village. Game pretty much over. Hope you enjoyed it. Those were three battles on Churchill 7. And uh, I probably won't be making any Churchill 7 videos since I don't have this tank anymore. See you later in the next video. Enemy armor is damaged. He's gone. Find another target. We've hit them hard. Punched right through their armor. See, those are three shots right now. It already had 3,500 something damage. See you later, guys.